Regeki rage quit. Understandable. See you later. I made him rage quit because El Lich is that powerful. You know, everyone has those guilty pleasures. You know, a lot of you guys like to eat 35 donuts in the span of 20 minutes. A lot of you guys don't like to shower. My guilty pleasure is that I love El Lich almost as love as much as I love Pendulum, bro. Almost, but I love Pendulum more. But El Lich is my guilty pleasure, and I think that El Lich is low key one of the best decks this format. I think it's bananas. The best Synchro Eldritch deck you've ever seen in your life. We have six different engines in there. And quite frankly, the, it's a match made in heaven. Either it's Oxytune sending an Eldritch card. Either it's Magician Soul sending an Eldritch card. Either it's Runic Hugin sending an Eldritch card. Or other synergies in the deck of Punk synergizing with Gold Pride, which is in the deck too. Everything being tuners. Synchro summoning Hugin being a level two. The Synchro and, and level four is a Gary to get them off the field to continue runic summoning. Whether it's Ancient Fairy Dragon to put the field spells together. Ah, it's so good, bro. It's so good. So I'm gonna show you guys this deck right now. I'm very proud of it. I'm gonna show you guys the comment tutorial where it ends on an unbreakable board. Uh, I literally searched for five trap cards that are built in the deck that are not bricks and good to open. Elich is crazy, dude. It's crazy. You search everything. And I'm going to duel someone. I'm going to show you guys how good it is where he, he rage quits right away. And <laughs> this is crazy. My opponent rage quit hard just by seeing the sheer power of this deck. So let's get straight into this absolutely remarkable deck. So for starters, look at this. This is broken. We're going to go Elan here to search. Souls is one of the cards that brings this deck together. It just free pluses. It's free. We're going to draw a thousand billion times. And we're going to trigger Scarlet as well to set Conquistador so we don't hard draw. I don't really want to open Conquistador right now. So then this is what we have set up. We don't really want to open the Gold Pride Trap because you get to search it for free in the combo. This is like opening Salamangri Sanctuary, but it's irrelevant because this is broken. This is insane. So it doesn't even matter. So the next line of play, everything just synergizes with each other. It's ridiculous. Whether it's rank 3 turbo to search the trap card, which is the double interruption by itself. For people that don't know what Gold Pride does, you'll see very shortly. Whether it's summoning a Zamin and it gets hand trapped and you go into Herald with Souls and you go into uh, Ancient Fairy, it's it just ridiculous. Or whether it, how it's all the Elish cards synergize with Foxy Tune in a ridiculous manner, or how they all synergize with Hugin in a ridiculous manner, there's no better card to send off Hugin or off Foxy Tune than an Elish card. It just pluses too hard. We're going to Runic Tip here to add, and we're going to go Foxy Tune to send a Runic card, which is another great card to send. We're going to summon Sharkasai, whatever that's called, and. Uh, now we're, we're basically having the whole graveyard full. So what we're going to do now is going to go into summon that one. We're going to breath these out. We're going to search for the punk card first. Punk card comes first. Oh, I searched the wrong field spell. Punk field spell first because you're going to runic on top of it afterwards. So we're going to draw now off the punk card. We're going to also search a trap. We're going to use the effect of the field spell. We draw scarlet. We don't really want to open a scarlet there. We're going to draw that now. And then we're going to draw again from the effect of uh, punk jam. So we have two draws and a search. Now we're going to synchro... Uh, Madame Spider and Souls, we're going to put that into Herald. Why? Because we're going to turn Herald and Sharakusai into Ancient Fairy Dragon. I'm sure you guys see the synergy now, but it's just going to continually go and go forever. So now with Ancient Fairy, we're going to be able to pop that field spell to search Runic Fountain. That's why we did the play we did earlier because of the power of this. Now we're just going to keep going. We're going to now uh, use Flashing Fire and Gary. We're going to draw three. I put, uh, I'm going to put the punk one back. And then after we draw three, so once we draw three, we're then going to use Ancient Fairy to Special Summon to go Saryuja. And Saryuja will now draw four. We have drawn four off Saryuja, three off Fountain, that's seven. We've drawn twice off of the Punk Field spell. So Punk Field spell draws two, Runic Field spell draws three, that's five. Uh, we searched three times, four times in the combo. Look at how much we're drawing, bro. You put back anything you want to set up anything you want. I was thinking, should I keep Soul? Should I keep Illusion for next turn? I'm like, dude, this hand just ridiculous. There's just so much to do with this. So I literally have nine cards on my hand right now. I'm going to use Sayuja now to special summon uh, that. I'm going to eat Tally the Zayamin to put these into the rank three. The rank three will get the spell. The spell will be able to add Rollerballer. I'll take some more damage from Rollerballer. I'll then special Leon. The first Leon was special off Sayuja. And Rollerballer will be able to draw me another. I think we draw 10 times in this combo. And with a thousand searches. I'm going to end on the Synchro as an interruption. And then we're going to special Rollerballer. I'm trying to figure out, yo, how am I going to have enough monsters i have to literally get rid of my scarlet i have to, I, I would love the scarlet to stay on the field i have to use golden lord's effect to get it off the field <laughs> like i have to use it to get it off the field because that's the only way i could actually have space for all my traps and lords in the field so i have conquo and wakero i'm going to summon rollerballer 
uh, what Leon does is stops me from summoning from the next deck, but I can still summon from my graveyard. And I'm going to end up with an absurd amount of interruptions. And then at the end phase, the effect of gold pride, better luck next time, will make me draw one more time. So I draw 10 times in my turn. I search five times in my turn. I ends up drawing 15 total times. I have an unbreakable board of Wakero, Conquistador, Lord in the Field. So that's double interruption. Star gold pride star Leon is going to pop something that's three interruptions. Roller Baller's in the field. I forgot. Roller Baller's going to hit the field. I just forgot to do that. I have four from Roller Baller, which is a huge interruption. Roller Baller is a crazy one. You guys know what that does. Gold Pride is a double interruption. That's five. And the Leon, that's six. And then Punk, that's seven. Then I have Double Runic, that's nine. And then I'm going to draw three times as well. So this is nine interruptions in the field. This fusion's absurd. And my Eldritch Engine will continue going forever. My Runic Engine will continue going forever. It's ridiculous. Like, and the gold pride cards recycle themselves in the extra deck, so they'll keep going forever. So, it's just a never-ending, and I, this is when I draw my turn, this is my hand. What are you going to do? You draw? You're playing, out like, El Lich, you have runic cards, you have so many defensive cards. You end on Herald if you have to. Like, it, there's no actual play. You can end on whatever you want. There's no actual play that stops, like, there's no hand trap that stops you. You still end on so many defensive cards that it's irrelevant. And going second, you remove all the El Lich cards for go second cards. So, you just overwhelm your opponent. As you guys are going to see in this replay. All right. So now I'm going to is a duel. I'm going second. I'm facing off against Virtual World. Very, very broken hand he has. It doesn't even matter. I'm going to do very well against it. So let's go, baby. Now we don't want to open Golden Lord or Guru or Gabu, but it doesn't matter. This is why. Cards like this that you open, they help you in some way, shape, or form. They help you stop the opponent uh, in some way, shape, or form. Whether you have Magician Souls or Foxy Tune to discard or Hugin as a discard or Golden Lord Effect. Like even the cards you don't really want to open. It, they have some form of effect because you have so many discard outlets so it's irrelevant it, you, you know what i mean there's no bricks like it doesn't matter so they're all gonna get discarded eventually i have double gold pride cards which is okay because i have a cool combo here so i'm gonna do i'm gonna start curse outland i want him to think that i'm playing eldritch that's what i want him to think i want him to think i'm play, playing pure eldritch so i activate curse outland and he's not using droll because he has the kaliga lock so for those who don't know what this lock is it's a very powerful lock so he has invoke kaliga on the field and crystal wing so the second I activate a monster effect, he negates it with Crystal Wing, but I already attempted to activate a monster effect. So Kaliga locks me from using monster effects for the rest of this turn. So that's why he's not using Droll here. And I'm thinking to myself, yo, I gotta make sure Kaliga stops him and I gotta play very slow. So I decided instead of playing and showing him what I'm playing, I could have activated Gold Pride to search for a card. I don't want him to know anything that I'm playing. So what I do instead is I just set everything. I try and bluff him because I know Kaliga He's gonna stop him from playing so he's not gonna do shit on his turn and for all he knows this is torrential this is skill drain he thinks i'm playing a real trap deck like a real eldritch deck that's why i don't activate or show anything it's kind of big brain there knowing he's gonna keep kaliga and what do i have here i have an imperm which is gonna stop the kaliga this is what i like as well none of the like bricks per se like the gold pride trap or the dangerous gabu bro you just open them it's like hard drying imperm or something it's like a trap card who cares it's like chalice i just drew chalice who cares it'll be a good interruption in a slow duel so now he's going to play, but he can only use one monster effect thanks to uh, Kaliga. So he summons Shen Shen. Nope, I don't care. He can only attack one time, so I don't have too much damage. Crystal Ring, no problem. End phase, I summon out Conquistador. Now let's uh, go do some damage. So now you can see how crazy this gets, right? Like this gets insane. So he stopped me with his Floodgate, but I stopped him with his own Floodgate. So now I have to be very smart and careful with how I do this. So my next play, I'm going to summon Zamin. In hopes that he's gonna aim to he's gonna negate it with crystal wing that's what i'm hoping so i summon say i mean he's the effect and he's gonna use crystal wing at this point i think i misplayed here's why if i use gabu to negate crystal wings effect say i mean goes off i add foxy tune and then i just use my runic card to negate kaliga and then i win the game but for some strange reason, I said no problem, and I used Freezing Curse to negate Kaliga instead. What? What did I do with that? That makes no sense. What I just said. So I used yeah. I, oh, sorry. I used Runic Freezing Curses to special summon a level two. I didn't need to do that. I think that or I used no. And I remember I was saving this for Elish the Golden Lord, which I shouldn't have done. I should have used Dangerous Gabu to negate the Crystal Wing. And then I use Freezing Curse to negate the Kaliga. And I have Foxy Tune in my hand now. And then I use Curse Elan to add. And then I use Lord with the Curse Elan. So that's what I should have done. But that was a mistake. So instead, he up, he says, I negate this. So he uses Chuche as well to get rid of my Conquistador. So this kind of still goes fine. He does get to rid of get rid of all the cards on my field. 
but I got rid of all his negates except Shen Shen and his hand traps. So, and I'm not locked into anything. I should have got the Fox, <coughs> the Foxy Twin, because that's what really changes everything. I'm going to use Chris Ellen's effect now to add, and he's debating if he wants to ash it. He ashes it because he knows I'm going to use Golden Lord to search. He doesn't have Golden Lord in hand. I'm going to use that to get rid of Shen Shen. Next, I'm going to use Gold Pride to search for a field spell. And so I understand why he wanted to ash that because he didn't want me to Golden Lord send the Shen Shen. That's what he was scared of. So <coughs> now I'm going to get Leon. And on Leon, he uses Droll, which is so unfortunate. I'm like, shit, fuck. Because now I could have used uh, Gold Pride Captain Carry. Maybe I think I should have done that. I should have special carry first. By special in carry first, I would have got the trap. And the trap outs this whole board. So next, I'm going to use Golden Lord to get rid of Shen Shen. I could have started with that as well, but obviously I would have got negated. So I could have done this way better. Like if I went Golden Lord, Shen, get rid of Shen Shen, and he uses Crystal Wing, and then I chain. But so I, my order of vibrations wasn't the best. I sent Elan to summon this. My next play is I special carry with no effect. And I special Leon with no effect. And the two of these, I go Synchro 6. Now, this is another misplay. This is a misplay, dude. I'm, I'm not happy with myself with these misplays. I should have kept carry on, in the graveyard. I didn't know that this could summon from the uh, extra deck, too. Or from the, from the deck. So, I use this to make a 6k attack. I attack. I put him at 2,000 life points. He makes a mistake with the life points. So, I have an interruption on his turn. No, Star Leon's going to get back. And I'm going to uh, go back to the extra deck. So, what I could have done here is I have Scarlet, Golden Lord. And then I could have set up the Synchro 6 on his turn with Leon. So I should have Leon. Leon's affected and trigger yet. So he could get a special carry from the graveyard. So I should have kept this carry. And he would be at 3,000 instead of 2,000. He did his life points wrong. He's at 2,000 right now. So, and he has like no banished cards. Or sorry, he used the desire. So he doesn't have much stuff left. So even anything he summons is irrelevant. So he, at this point, I could have gotten Synchro 6. So if he uses Chuche, I could chain it to make the Synchro 6. And I was so disgusted with my misplay that I scooped. That was my game. I won that shit easily. Easily. Full virtual world board. And I won. So let's see what we can do here with Nibiru. So he has Nibiru, he has Cosmic, and he has a nice, like, Lulu, Ching Long. This is amazing. This is the best hand he could possibly open. Because I'm about to see absolute greatness unfold. So here, I'm going to put it very hard for him. I, I, look, guys, this deck's insane. You're going to see what I mean by that. We're going to get free, free draws right now. We're gonna. I'm trying to bait him. He wants a Nibiru. Let him. Dude, look at this. He has no good time to Nibiru right now. If he Nibiru's me right now, he does, and then what? Deer Note Trigger. You know? Special Madame Spider. He doesn't know I opened the Punk. He's cooked. So what do I do at this point? I summon a Runic. I get Hugin. I discard uh, Carry because I already have another way to Carry. And now here's where I trick him big time. So I'm sitting here. I'm like, hmm, what should I do? I get Runic Fountain so I can be able to draw later. I already drew uh, twice with the Punk stuff. I'm done with the Punks. Now, what do I do? Synchro 10. Not even a Synchro 8. To make sure I'm protected from Nibiru. And he had Nibiru. And Deer Note Effect will trigger the Special Summon. So Deer Note will trigger to special that. And then I special activate Fountain. And then I go Flashing Fire to summon the level 3. I can play with rank 3s. And I use this to draw 2. What do I draw? I draw Souls and Scarlet. Bro, it's like this deck synergizes absurdly together. It's ridiculous how good this goes. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate this to get carry now. And then I'm going to special carry to add that Gold Pride, which is a ridiculous card. I'm going to put these into the rank 3 now. Uh, to search another gold pride. I'm going to get set with souls. I'm going to send Rollerball out to the grave specifically to summon it with Leon. I then use Illusion to put back. Instead of putting back itself, I'm going to put back uh, Dangerous Gabu so I could search it again for free because I hard drew it. So I get a free plus one there for nothing. I'm then going to special the souls and send Illusion. Uh, and I'm going to use souls to send the Scarlet and the gold pride in my hand because it's going to draw me one card. And I chain Scarlet. I don't want to draw Conquistador. And then I'm drawing two more times. I told you guys, this is crazy. You draw three with Punk Fountain. Or sorry, three with Runic Fountain. Two with the Punk, that's five. You draw two with Souls, that's seven. You draw one with the Spell, that's eight. And there's another way that we draw, I forgot. Saryuja. So we draw 12 times. It's nuts. And then I decide not to go Saryuja here because I didn't need to. I could have. I could have gone Saryuja. But I knew I was going to draw with this. Herald's going to be in a gate. I'm like, let's keep Herald in the field. I set all my traps... And I uh, draw an extra with Gold Pride. Uh, end main phase. He uses the Baron. I'm like, that's fine, my mans. I'm going to negate that with Baron. No problem. That's like I did, literally did this from the very beginning. I'm going to draw one anyways. And then on the standby phase, I'm going to use the effect of Baron to special uh, my Roller Baller out. So then I'd have Roller Ball. Oh, this is too much. Bro. This is too, actually too much. Actually, what I was planning to do with this is not Roller Baller. I was planning to summon Deer Note. Because by summoning Deer Note, I was going to use the effect of Shirokusai. says, during your opponent's turn, 
Pay 600 life points immediately after synchro summon a punk monster using monsters you control. So I'd go three. Three with carry, that's six. And then five with deer note. That'll be uh, 11 to pop his whole board, which will destroy virtual world. And so that'll get rid of his whole board easily. And on top of that, my herald's still there. And on top of that, when he summons something else with this, I have so many, he has four cards left. He has four cards. So he's going to drop for turn. He has five cards. I have... Dangerous Gabu. I have... Yeah, I have Dangerous Gabu, which is going to be uh, the interrupt, get rid of one monster. It's going to then summon Leon, which will summon out Roller Baller. Roller Baller will then get rid of his whole field again. So it's two big interruptions. Uh, Gabu's in... Sorry, Lopai does that. Gabu's in uh, Imperm, so that's three. Shirakusai will blow the board up again, so he's, I'm blowing his board three times. That's four. Harold's in a gate five. And I have Flashing Fire six. And I have an absurd amount of follow-up. I have a gold Elish gold follow-ups. I have Deer Note summoning back another Elish, uh, another uh, punk card after. Nuts. Nuts. e tally. I'm in standby phase. I use Baron and he just scoops. Now, let's see how this one goes. Look at my hand. Boom. So what is what is huge about this deck, guys? It's the fact that going second... This deck doesn't play hand traps. Hand traps are for losers. You just break their board because you play so many engines. They just too much gas for them. They can't stop all of them. They'll stop one of them and get cooked easily. And this deck's nuts, dude. Nuts. Legit nuts. So what are we going to do now? Uh, well, we side out the whole Elledge engine going second for board breakers. So board breakers in conjunction with runic cards are nuts. If they have a Baron, you just use Flashing Fire to get rid of the Baron and you regeki. Negate that, thrust, get another regeki. And then you just destroy them afterwards. So... What happens? Regeki. Scoops. Look. It's rage quit. <laughs> Regeki rage quit. Understandable. See you later. I made him rage quit because the Elich is that powerful. And that's what it does. Now, I would have... I think this was the trap card. So even through the trap card, this is game. Because uh, this is just everything. This is ridiculous. Ridiculously powerful. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the best way to play Elich. It's broken. I love it. And I look forward to playing more. I'm going to show you guys a deck list. This is the deck list in all its greatness. Ah, oh, so good. The, the whole punk engine maxed out. A minor Elich engine. You got the pride engine. The gold pride engine because it works so well with the punk cards. And it works really well close online. You got a huge magician souls engine because it works so well with the deck as well. Not only is it level one, which you need to make the herald. But it's also the it works so well with runix and Elich. It's just so good. And the fact that you can side out the Elich to put in board breakers. It just so damn good, man. I love it. The extra deck could use some work. I do want to insert li librarian plays. It's just, it's very tight. It's very, very, very tight of an extra deck. So it's tough. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the deck boxes because I love them. So check them out. They're beautiful. I know you love them too. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching. This deck's insane. See you guys next video. Peace. Big biceps.